He may run a $2 billion mass transit agency, but NJ Transit Executive Director Jim Weinstein's announced departure went largely unnoticed among passengers. I don't really know how to, I don't know about him. I was unaware of it until you mentioned it, and as long as some changes get done, I'm probably in the long run will be okay. But Weinstein's resignation, effective March 1st, ends a tumultuous four-year tenure that began with a 25% fare hike. But it will probably be most remembered for decisions made over the past two years. Weinstein took responsibility for the decision to leave more than 300 trains and locomotives in vulnerable, low-lying areas during Sandy in 2012. While we took extraordinary steps to mitigate potential harm, Nonetheless, the transit system suffered extraordinary damage to critical bridges, electrical substations, track and signal systems, rolling stock and key terminals. While critics give Weinstein credit for taking the hit on Sandy, support was scarce when he tried to explain away the agency's handling of the crowds after the Super Bowl. We moved uh, 28,000 people to the game um, during the afternoon. We moved 33,000 people from the game in the evening. Uh, there was a queue there. It took, uh, it took us a couple hours to get uh, all of the people out of there. It was an opportunity for New Jersey to show that we can move people to a Super Bowl by train. We failed miserably. But almost everyone we spoke to today had high praise for Weinstein the person, agreeing that he was responsive and respectful. It's his boss, Governor Chris Christie, who came in for criticism over the agency's performance. Former Governor Dick Cody said Christie had too heavy a hand in how the agency functioned day to day. But it looks like this governor was, as they say, micromanaging everything, uh, which I don't know, I know how he had all that time, um, understanding what he was doing politically in terms of his national persona and traveling across the country. The governor named current Turnpike Authority Executive Director Veronique Hakim to succeed Weinstein. Philip Craig is vice president of the New Jersey Association of Railroad Passengers. She may be able to be more persuasive with the governor. I have a great deal of respect for her and look forward to her being a breath of fresh air. When it comes to managing this agency, said one source, there's your agenda and there's the governor's agenda, adding that there's more to the job than just getting the trains to run on time. For NJTV News, I'm David Cruz.